Busted Knuckles Custom Cycles opened its doors in February 2005 with the desire to offer all types of motorcycle enthusiasts a shop where they feel welcomed and confident. At Busted Knuckles, we pride ourselves in being a leader in the tri-state area by offering the most comprehensive selection of services to our customers in an open and welcoming atmosphere that's second to none. From basic service, new and used parts and apparel, to full restorations and one-off customs, domestic, metric, cruisers, sport bikes, scooters, or ATVs. If you ride it, we can fix it. If you can think it, we can build it. To better serve you, we've moved to a larger facility in downtown Martinsburg. So come on in. We're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 5, Saturday, 10 to 2. Located at 406 West Race Street in Martinsburg. Let us help you do some time behind bars. From all your friends at Busted Knuckles Custom Cycles, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year! This month we're going to talk about rear suspension. Maybe you want to lower the rear of your bike. Maybe you want to change out the OEM shocks. Maybe you want to put a lowering kit on. We'll cover all of that today. Today's victim is a 1997 Sportster, Harley-Davidson 883. We have progressive shocks already on this bike, so we're not actually going to be changing anything out, but I will show you how to remove all the hardware and what to go through in order to change them out. Remember, safety first. If you're going to do this in the garage, out in the street, in the driveway, in your shed, make sure the bike is up on a center jack, make sure it's strapped down, and make sure that it is secure. It's not going to go anywhere on you. When you raise the bike up, raise the bike where you just have the rear tire just touching and you've unloaded the shocks. If you go up too high, the shocks may get into a bind, you won't be able to pull them off. The good news is you'll know immediately. If you've gone too high or you've gone too low, you can make those adjustments midstream, it's not a problem. We've already loosened up all the hardware on this shock absorber. You got a top nut. You have a bottom nut and bolt. In the case of this Sportster, the nut and the bolt actually hold on part of the belt guard. So be careful when you take it off, don't scratch your pan. Once you've removed everything, the shock will slide right off. Now I had the, the jack pre-adjusted to right where I wanted it. The shock was nice and loose once I got the hardware uh, loosened up. And the shock could actually move around a little bit before I pulled it off. A lot of people want to change their shocks to lower the rear of the bike to make it look a little more aggressive. Uh, maybe they want a little more performance, a little stiffer ride. You're going to have to be very careful when choosing your shocks or in some cases choosing a lowering kit. If you go with a lowering kit, it comes with all the necessary hardware and the instructions needed to install it. But usually they'll mount in the stock lower shock bolt hole and it will move the lower shock mount back up to a few inches. Be very, very careful with these kits. If you already have lowered shocks or you're buying lowered shocks and a lowering kit, you can run into a lot of problems. First of which, if the rear end comes up on a good bump, it could bottom out, making for a really rough ride. Also, it could end up being too stiff or you can actually send the tire up into the fender, damaging the fender or damaging a wire way through the fender. My suggestion is to go slow. If you want to get your lowering kit, get it, install it, try it out for a little while and see what you think. If you want to go lower and think you can go lower, then buy your shocks. When I put the shocks on my last bike, I lowered it down and stiffened up the ride. It was wonderful. The only problem is I ended up with a weird noise coming from the back. This is a common problem. It took me a few days to realize that the weird noise was my wife complaining about the rough ride. Something else you had to take into account, passengers. Reinstall the shock. It's going to go right back on, new or old, the way the old one came off. In some cases, you may have to adjust the jack, especially if you're going with a lowered shock. You may have to adjust the jack because now the rear end of the bike is actually lower. Make sure it goes back through the belt guard. Put the hardware back on and tighten it back up. 
The setup on this Sportster is real basic and real simple. It doesn't have any of the fancy gadgets that you may get with a bagger. With a metric or domestic bagger, you may have an air ride system, which means up here on the top, you're going to have a little air line going in that you'd have to release and get out of the way. Don't try to pull that shock with that airline attached. You could damage the airlines. If you do have a bagger with the air system, now is a good time to verify the hoses aren't dry rotted, make sure that they're still holding air, make sure they're generally in good condition. Also, with a job like this, I started off the show with safety first, it's best to have a buddy. Get a friend that you really trust to help you get the bike up on the jack or up on the lift, whatever you may have. Because the bike will be so unstable, it's good to have a buddy before the beer help you get it up and off the stand. Something else to look for when purchasing your shock may be your wallet. These shocks are going to run anywhere from $100 on up to air ride systems that are raise and lower the bike uh, that you can sport tune and do all sorts of neat stuff with. And it can run up to the thousands of dollars. The choice is yours and you're limited by your wallet. As with this procedure or any other procedure you see us do, if you're not comfortable, consult your local motorcycle shop. They can do the work for you safely and effectively and get you down the road. If you have any questions, consult them then too. It's been another tech tip brought to you by your friends at Busted Knuckles Custom Cycles. Ride safe. And don't forget to check out Mace TV Channel 13 for Thunder Roads, West Virginia, and this month's centerfold bike. With my clothes on? Well, probably. Yeah, no, okay. definitely. Well, probably more so with my clothes on. Okay. Yes, yeah. Okay. As a matter of fact, if your clothes come off, so does the camera. There's no red light. I'm, I can't work in these conditions. Remember, if you do have a bagger, be it metric or be it, uh, Harley, what? Oh, there's one. Huh? I'm eating beard. Now I'm eating dirt. Alright, go. It's on. <laughs> <clears throat> you got the, you got the hair thing? Yes. Suck! Alright. <clears throat> As with this or any other bike, uh, tech, tech, uh, bless America. <laughs> just, that's just nasty. Okay. I'm trying to think of the red light stole me off because he's got the red light blocked. He filmed me removing a hair from my mouth. He catches all the best moments. <laughs> Give me a voice uh, check. All he is. Oh Wrong. God, with that kind of energy, it's not going to be a very good Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year from your friends at Busted Knuckles Custom Cycles. Okay, that like almost worked but didn't because <laughs> everybody else needs to like join in. Join, you know, join in everybody. Well, they need to say, just tell us what they want us to say. From all of your friends at Busted Knuckles Custom Cycles, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. That's when you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why nobody else was talking. <laughs> See, when I get the cycles, you guys say, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Okay. All right, all right, all right, I see how right. this works now. All right, I got it. I got it. Let's try it again. Forget, forget, all right. <laughs> On three. Okay. All right. Three. Thunder finds that can handle special needs. <laughs> all right. From all your friends at Busted Knuckles Custom Cycles, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy New Year. Year.